Hello friends, it's Scott Roberts here at Explore Scientific and I thought it would be uh, a nice idea to show you uh, how the, um, uh, the variable solar filter uh, system works. Uh, this is how, this is the model that fits on small telescopes and camera lenses and stuff like that. We, deci we decided to make it a variable one uh, so that um, more people could use them on all different kinds of telescopes and camera lenses and stuff. So this is what you're going to get when you open it up. Um, you're going to have the filter itself uh, in a plastic bag. There's an instruction manual and uh, there are these four triangles here. Um, and there's also adhesive tape, double-sided tape, that attaches the, the foam triangle to the side of the frame of the filter. Uh, the filter material itself is the uh, silver black um, uh, uh, Thousand Oaks uh, filter material. It is ISO safety rated, safety tested, um, and it is their best stuff. Uh, it makes a beautiful image of the sun. Uh, it's great for photography of the sun for the, all the partial phases. Of course, during if you're going to be on the shadow, uh, you don't use any filter at all. Um, you know, if you're going to be in the line of totality for the two minutes, around two minutes that the sun will be at totality on August 21st, 2017, when it hits totality, you're going to take the filter off the telescope and make your images. Um, and when the totality phase is finished, you need to get this thing back on so that you can complete the series of the entire eclipse um, sequence. So uh, when you get this, uh, there are, it's all just pictures, you know, a very simple instruction, but there's also a template here. And we make a couple of different sizes of filters um, for uh, different size telescopes. But this, this rough template uh, does show like a four inch, a six inch, an eight inch uh, size, 10 inch, and even 12 inch. Um, so it is a nice, uh, it covers all variable sizes, but because of the triangles, and I'll show you how I uh, cut these, but the triangles themselves allow you to use lots of different size telescopes and camera lenses. So you can see that they'll fit in like so, and uh, it, can, it can hit a very small uh, uh, camera lens, for example, or we can do much larger. So let's, let's get to it. This uh, particular um, uh, solar filter fitting, what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to work on it on the MIDI TX125. Obviously, this is something that Explore Scientific doesn't make, but uh, our filters will fit on it. And so the lens cap of the 125 is almost exactly the same size as the tube assembly. So I'm going to use that as a template. This is uh, our bigger one, but we're not going to use that particular one. We're going to use the smaller um, filter. And uh, what I'm going to do is we're just going to place this right over our template right here. And it just fits almost perfectly within the, uh, uh, the six inch circle. So that's, that's really good. And um, it doesn't even have to look like I have to make a line. But if I did, what I would do is I would take a pen or a felt marker or something and it would mark off, in fact, I'm gonna do that here. I'm gonna mark off the edges here so I just have something for a little bit better fit. And then when I put in my, my triangles here, I can see exactly where I need to cut it. And I'm gonna cut the triangle. I'm gonna cut the triangle so it's, it's a little bit thicker uh, than what I needed it to be. I don't want it to be, easy to slide off. I want to grab the tube uh, so I can hold on there securely. So you can see I have my double-sided tape here and I've got my foam triangles here and this is the inside of the uh, solar filter. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of mark off by looking straight down. There's This is all a grid pattern on here so I can look straight down on top of this and then I can estimate exactly where I need to cut to get a tight fit. And it's going to be about right here on this particular uh, piece of foam. And so I'm just going to do all four corners like that. And um, so you can use like a pair of scissors like this, you know, where you go and you just cut. Or you can use a knife. 
but cutting the foam's really easy to do. And so there's one that's cut. Maybe I, I trim it up just a little bit better here uh, from the edge. And where that's gonna fit is just onto one side like this, okay? And then I'll do all four sides. We'll take the uh, tape, the double-sided tape here. And it's already cut up here. And then I can put it on the back of one of my foam pieces here. Just rub it down really good until it gets a really good seal on there. And then you can go to the other side here and peel off that, that backing of that tape. And then you can put it in any of the angles here, but you just want it, you want all of the triangles to be at the proper corners here. Uh, so they're opposing each other. And you just complete the whole thing. And now you can see it's done. Uh, all four of the pieces are here. Uh, they're in there real sturdy. And uh, we're ready to put it onto the telescope. But it's a little too tight. So what I need to do now is I just need to trim off a little bit more. And so I got a little uh, uh, knife here. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in here. And this thing cuts like butter. I mean, it's just really easy to cut. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to take off a little slice there, pull that off, okay, and a little slice here, just a little bit, not too much, because we, you can always cut away more later if you have to, but we just want to make sure that we're going to get a nice fit, and that looks pretty good right there, so I'm just going to trim this off a little bit. go. That had a little bit of a high hill on it. And now my filter fits on the ETX-125 just fine. It's perfect. So it'll pull straight off. Uh, when we get to totality, when we're in the partial phases, we go back on. And that's it. So uh, if you have any more questions, uh, you can get back to us at Explore Scientific on our customer service lines. Um, or uh, you can also click the link that I'll include in this post. Take care and uh, hope you guys have a great eclipse. No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 no, when the whistle goes.